Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is Matthew Sturkey with Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk a little bit about staircase design and tips for selecting the right staircase and tips for designing the staircase uh, that's right for your home. So there's a couple of things that we want to discuss. The first being uh, check code requirements. Important to know uh, not only uh, when you're building it, but in the design process, what the code requirements there are. Uh, one, what's the tread depth? Two, what's the rise height requirement? Those are all gonna dictate how many steps will be needed to get up to that second floor or to go from the main level down to that lower level. Uh, the second thing is, is think about the aesthetics and how that staircase fits within your design. Is that staircase more of a focal feature? If it's a focal feature, you might really want to put a lot of thought and, and some additional money and resources into that staircase. You might want to consider doing a heavy timber staircase with a timber stringer and a timber tread and a timber rail and spindle, something that's going to complement that focal feature of the home. If the staircase is hidden uh, you know, behind a wall and you're not going to really see it, it's not visible, it's not open, then you might want to do something more conventional. It's a little bit more cost effective, something with a two by uh, stringer, a, a two by rise, a two by uh, tread, and then just cover it with a hardwood uh, tread and then a wood uh, rise cover. Uh, something like that, it might complement the flooring material that you've got in the main level and be able to take that all the way up to the second floor. And then be thinking about space. How is this staircase uh, gonna flow? Uh, how uh, much space do you have within the staircase to operate? You typically have a three foot minimum, but if you want a much wider staircase, three foot six or four feet or four foot six, uh, you know, we've got clients that sometimes want, you know, a very grand, you know, five foot width, but you've got to make sure that those things get accounted for in the design. So if you want something a little wider, that's something that needs to be discussed very early on in the design process so it can be taken into account. So be thinking about how your rails are gonna tie into your staircase. Are they gonna be to the outside of the stringers? Are they gonna be on top of the stringers and treads? All of that will ultimately dictate how much space you have, how much clear space you have inside the wall and inside of the rail. So these are just a couple of tips, you know, check local code, make sure you know what the code requirements are so that they can be incorporated into the design. Uh, think about the cosmetics of it and is it a focal feature of the home or is it something that um, is gonna be hidden behind a wall or uh, there's gonna be a wall framed up around it. And then think about your space and how that is gonna flow and how much space you want to have, you know, clear space on the inside of that staircase uh, it, it, very early in the design process so that that can be taken into account uh, during, the de during the design. So these are just a couple of tips on uh, selecting and designing staircases. Hopefully this has been helpful today. Thanks for joining us for Tip Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you next week uh, for more Tip Tuesday. Until then, stay safe and healthy. Take care.